Okay, so one of the higher level questions is to calculate nominal GDP from sets of national income data using the expenditure approach. Okay, if you're not sure what the expenditure approach is, you need to go back over your notes and go and have a look. Okay, so it's dead easy and it's something we're going to be using over and over again in macroeconomics. Okay, so the expenditure approach of working out GDP okay, equals consumption spend, spending, so everything we spend uh, on consumption plus everything we spend on investment plus everything we spend the government spends plus everything we spend on exports minus what we spend are on imports. Okay, so all we have to do is look over here at all the different um, information in a table so you'll get this in your exam and basically we just need to look where we've got consumption spending so we've got consumption spending over here 950.9 we need to add that to the investment spending here we go 300.7 find the government spending there we go there's government spending add that onto the figure and then we need to work out our net exports so we find our exports which is here 95.3 and we minus our imports okay so that's going to be taken away so we've got more imports than exports so i'm just going to write it down here and uh, i'll see you in a second okay so as you can see i've um, put all the figures here popped them in my calculator added them together okay and I get a GDP of 1,564.8. Okay, it's as simple as that. Okay, um, the next thing we need to do, so let me just move the calculator out of the way. Okay, okay so we need to work out the um, GMP or GNI okay for the purpose of this course they're, they're the same thing and if we just remind ourselves from our notes that we should have done if you haven't done this you need to go back and just make sure you understand this is it's our GNI equals GDP plus our income from abroad so any say from my point of view, British people who live abroad, when they send income home, so income from abroad, minus um, income sent abroad. Okay, so for example, any remainings living in the UK, sending um, their income out of the UK, this is what where this will come in, so income uh, sent abroad. Again, just a very simple calculation. All we need to do is have a look at up here and find out, there we go, income from abroad. And we've got net in, uh, income sent abroad. Okay, and we've looks like we've got our net income from abroad already worked out for us. Okay, so again, another way of writing this is GNI equals GDP plus net income from abroad. Okay, sorry, I'm still getting used to this pen, um, but hopefully I'll get there. Anyway, so we've already got net income from abroad, so we can simply do find out our GDP. So one five six four point eight plus okay so it's minus one four seven point four so let's work that out on the calculator okay so as you can see one five six four point eight minus the hundred and forty seven point four gives us a GNI of one four one seven point four Okay. 
again as easy as that if we hadn't got the net income from a broad figure simply we'd just find our income from abroad 25.8 and then we have minus the income sent abroad 173.2 okay and that would give us 147.4 which is what we had there okay so again as simple as that once we've got our GDP all we need to do is look for income from um, income from abroad income sent abroad or net income from abroad okay so just needs a bit of practice good luck in practicing on the ones I've got on Schoolology for you okay bye bye